Hey, this is James. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit about the stair. So here I've drawn a polyline, which I'll use as a basis for some editing. So I'm just going to zoom into this. Okay, so I'm going to use the default stair settings. So I'm not going to change anything uh, for now. And I'm going to do a uh, flight along this first side. Then I'm going to switch to a landing. And then I'm going to switch to a flight again, but I'm going to double click and it will uh, place the remainder of the stair that's necessary to go up to my next floor. Okay, so now that I've got this in place, let's start editing it. So here I now want to change this back to a flight, or not back, but to change it to a flight. So if we click on the segment itself, and from the pet palette, we choose the um, segment type and we change this from a landing to a flight and click OK. Okay, so now we'll place the two steps in here. I can see I can, uh, a little bit too much detail on this floor plan, so I'm just going to modify the settings of the floor plan to be a little bit simpler. So I'm going to open up my settings and under my floor plan display, grids and structure, I'm just going to switch this to the built-in and hit OK. Okay, so now it's just a simpler floor plan appearance. And I can see my treads are quite long. So currently my stair is set to have a kind of a minimum and a maximum range that the treads can be. But I just want to bring these in a little bit tighter. So I'm going to just reduce the overall length. Okay, so that's a bit better. And now I can still see that the lengths here on the corners, I want to be symmetrical. So I want to have a, a unified gap on the, on the ends of both of these uh, small landings. So to edit this, we go into the node settings, so the node here, and we edit the turning type options, so from the pet palette. And I'm keeping this as a landing, so later we'll play around with the winder, but I'm going to change this minimum riser offset to a fixed riser offset. So now I'm going to set, say, 50 mil and 50 mil and hit OK. So now this gap here is going to be 50 mil on both sides. Yep, 50 and 50. Okay, so now I want to do the same on the other side. Uh, to get a fixed amount of steps in here, it will probably have to unlock something. So maybe the length or the overall width to be able to get the correct and unify, uniform um, going uh, distances. So let's have a look. So I'm going to do the same thing on the right hand side and switching this to fixed. And I can already see that I've got a little message here. So 50 mil and 50 mil and hit OK. And now the solver will open up, giving me some options to say it needs to unlock something. Uh, so the first one is basically the length of this left side, and this one is the overall width of my stair. So I think the first one is the best option. So I'll double click that. And I can see this just brought up uh, a little bit. So therefore all my goings are gonna be the same uh, size. So if I need to get the equal length, so if I wanna add another step here, I can just click on the end and then use the reconfigure stair I can remove one step on this end and add it to the beginning. Okay, so now this is symmetrical. I want to change this into a winder. So divide this into two or three. So let's have a look at both options. So again, I'm going to click on the corner node here, turning type options, and I'm going to switch this from a landing to a winder with equal angles. And I want to choose how many there are. So I'm going to switch this to fixed number of goings. And for the moment, I'm just going to divide this into two. And I'm going to keep the uh, distances that we have now. So if I hit OK, then I get a just a single uh, split here. And it would have taken this from the other end. So maybe the other side. I, ideally, I'd want to use both. Like, so this is not going to be too code, but let's try the other one. 
and change this one to a fixed number of goings and let's say three and keeping the uh, the same offsets as we had before so okay so you can see that it's uh, removed three steps here and then place them here so this is how we can divide this equally and have a unified gap uh, on the end here okay so hope hopefully that was useful and until next week thanks bye